What's up guys? Humble Fishing here, back at it again with another video. Today, we are out on the rocks, out here, Pacific Ocean, fishing all along this for rockfish, link cod, kelp greenling, cabazon, and anything else that bites. Hopefully we can get on some fish today. It's supposed to be a two foot swell, but it's actually more like an eight foot swell. So the odds aren't really in our favor. It's about high tide right now. It's just me today. I guess I'm just gonna keep fishing, see if we can get anything. There's a fish. Fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, yes. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Please stay on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Come on, get out of those rocks. Get out of those damn rocks. Oh, I think it's a ling. I think it's a ling. Hey, it's a ling. Ling, baby. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get this guy back. Yeah, baby, let's go. I just got a big ass something on the release. I mean on the, oh, holy, it's giant. It's huge, it's huge, it's huge. Oh, it's a big ass link. It's a keeper, it's a turtle keeper. It's a turtle keeper. Ah! Let's go, let's go, yes. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh! Look at that! He's not even hooked! He's not even hooked! Oh my god! Yes! Hell yeah! Oh my god! Oh, I'm shaking! Okay, I gotta get the measure. Hopefully, he's a keeper. He's a keeper! Let's, let's go! Let's go! Look at that thing! Those teeth, crazy looking inside of the mouth. Wow, look at that. On the return. I was just bringing that squid in. Gave up my luck. Hell yeah. I'm gonna bonk this dude. He's got a nice amount of meat on him. First ling I've ever kept. So, there he is. Oh, he just threw up that whole... Oh, it's an octopus. It's an octopus. Oh, he just threw up an octopus. Okay, so I just cut the gills right there. This little dude was inside of his gills. So when I, when I kill a fish like this, it's not just me killing. It's me accepting its life. I'm taking this fish's life. I'm using its fuel to power my body. I'm using the calories from this fish. I'm not just killing this thing because I can. This thing, there's a lot of respect between this and me. I worked very hard to get this fish. I've never kept a ling cod before. I'm so stoked. I am so happy. I would never keep a fish just for no reason. I'm gonna keep this so I can feed myself. Great, great catch. So, we are already prepared for a catch and cook out here on the rocks. I'm gonna make one, my first cut, right up in there. 
and this fish has absolutely glowing blue meat. I've never eaten a blue meat fish. Obviously not the best spot to be filleting this thing. that blue meat. Gorgeous. Boom. First fillet is done. That is a nice chunk of blue meat. Wow. Whew. I am stoked. I am stoked. I actually did a very well fillet job on that. And see there's not really any meat wasted. Look at those teeth. Damn. Okay, so I'm gonna just chuck this back in the water, back in a little tide pool where I can get it for later, so it's still gonna be fresh. Cool. I'm gonna wash this fillet off. So I have this beautiful meat right here that I'm just gonna wash off. There's lots of little sea lice on him, which I'm just gonna scrape off with my knife. Super easy, not even hurting them. Just sliding them off. Look at that pattern, even after after it's been dead for about five minutes, that pattern still holds up on it really nicely. That is such a beautiful piece of meat. It's about the best nature can get right there. So I just got this new burner right here. Not sure what the brand is or anything, but super compact, easy to take out, easy to use. You flip these little things out. And the best part about it is that it ignites itself. It has a tiny little spark thing. I'll show you in a sec. You wanna make sure this valve is off once you're putting the gas on. There we go. So I wanna find a stable spot for that. And then I turn this latch on. You hear the gas. Now it's going. Super hot. So I got my pan right here. Cooking up this piece of ling. Just looks so amazing. I'm just gonna do this one straight butter, salt, pepper, chili flakes, a uh, little bit of sweet chili sauce. Just gonna be amazing. It still has that coloring on the back, which is just breathtaking. So, here's some of the seasoning that I made at my house. Uh, chili flakes, chili powder, peppercorns, garlic, onion, salt, and pepper. Um, so, a little bit of butter, just a little knob. Ooh, it's going in. That beautiful hunk of lincoln. some of that seasoning. So once this fish starts to turn more opaque, not translucent, it starts to turn white in color, that means that it's cooked and that's when you should eat it. You don't want to overcook lingcod. It gets dry, it's just not good. You'd rather undercook it than overcook it. Get some fresh lemon on there. Steam it a little bit. Tap to you. Good. So I'm gonna flip this ling over. Damn, yo. Bomb right there. The definition of fresh. That thing was swimming in the water 20 minutes ago or less. We are eating good tonight, baby. This looks amazing. Let's get it. This is our super hot, super fresh lingcod. Here we got some lemon. Squeeze over the top of those. Steam it up a little bit. Now we got some avocado. Just 
going to scoop that. Gonna scoop that fresh avocado. Plop. Tap to you. Grandma's sweet chili sauce on the side. Okay, finally we get to dig into this beautiful plate of food. That bite of avocado, lingcod, flaky, fresh, fatty, crispy meat down the hatch. There's nothing I can say. It's that good. It is, it is just, there's no words to say how good this is. Fresh ling right there. Hell yeah. Ling, cod, in the skillet. Tapatio, on top. Right there. I thought that was a dog. Mm. And some tartar sauce, some lemon. This is just the mega ultra bite. Mouth-watering goodness, crispy on the bottom, fatty skin, fresh flaky meat. I'm gonna eat this in, in one bite. <laughs> I know you guys are jealous, I'm sorry.